Hey there, I'm Lori. Today, I'm gonna open a snack crate with you. So, if you want to find out what's inside this box, like I do, keep watching. So, if you don't know what snack crate is, snack crate is a box, just like this, that gets delivered to your house every month and you don't know where it's coming from. So I have no idea what country the snacks are from, but we're gonna find out. So let's do it. Open the box. Spain. Ooh, another place I've never been, but would love to go one day. Uh, when you get a snack crate, you get this little info thing. And it has fun facts, it has things um, about the snacks themselves, and um, let's find out some fun facts about Spain. Then we're gonna eat the snacks. <laughs> fun fact number one. On average, Spaniards devote 16 out of every 24 hours to leisure, eating, drinking, and sleeping. <laughs> they got it going on is what they got. Um, the first known stapler was made in the 18th century in the Basque country for the French king <clears throat> Louis the 15th. I'm pretty sure XV means 15. <laughs> Every single staple was engraved with the royal emblem. Staples are really small. Like, that would be crazy. <laughs> uh, when Spanish children lose a tooth, they put it under their pillow and a small mouse called Rat Raticoncinto Cinto? Perez comes to collect it and leaves a small gift or money in its place. <gasps> that's like the tooth fairy. Ah, that's so fun. Public nudity is legal in Spain. All the better to enjoy the balmy Mediterranean temperature with its 3,000 hours of sunlight a year. Oh, that seems like a lot of sunlight. Uh, the oldest restaurant in the world is in Madrid. Restaurante Botin has been open since 1725. Oh, whoa, that's crazy. And that's what Spain looks like. Okay enough with that. It also tells you about the snacks on this little sheet, but I'm not gonna look at that. <laughs> okay, let's see. Huevo frito. Fried egg taste chips. Ooh, check that out. <gasps> well, we gotta, we gotta try it. Let's give it a whirl. Okay, okay. They look like chips. You see that? It totally looks like a chip. No, it's not a chip. Well, I don't know if I like it. It's playing a game in my mind. It literally especially that, like, the initial taste that's hitting me really hard, is you know when you like fry an egg and you get that crispy bit? You Like if you cook it just enough, you get that little crispy bit around the egg. That is the, oh my gosh, look at this huge. That is this, like it's, it, the flavor, the, the texture almost, okay, let's do it again. This is a big one, right? It's like I popped an egg in my mouth. Those are weird. It's like I don't like it once it hits my mouth, but once it's been in there for a second, it's actually pretty good. I'm gonna rate these strangely like, like an eight because I'm not a huge fan, but I also super think they're cool. Whoa, trippy, okay. 
is this? Mini L. White chocolate semi-covered berries and cereal mini biscuit. It's actually like a pretty heavy, heavy bag. So it's gonna be like little little cookies, I'm assuming. Okay. Oh, I got a, I got a double. I got a double. Okay. Spain is playing with my mind. I don't see any fruit. You don't see any fruit. But as soon as you put it in your mouth and you crunch on it, it tastes like you're eating it's like a dried berry. Okay. I will eat this whole bag while it blows my mind every time I put it in my mouth. These are like a eight and a half, nine, nine maybe. I don't even like cookies, but those are cool. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. More chips. These are actual potato chips, I'm assuming. They're ruffles. It's some sort of meat flavor, but I don't know. I don't know what that meat is. I was a vegetarian for 15 years. So I never really explored with meat. I just, I eat meat now, but it's like chicken or beef or pork, essentially. Okay. Yeah, just looks like a regular Ruffles potato chip. It's smoky. Mm, let's have another one. I don't know what, I don't know what that is, but that is freaking, oh, that's delicious. Okay, one more and then we'll move on. Yum. Okay. What the heck are these? Caspazos? Snack de maize? I'm pretty sure maize means corn. So I think these are like a corn snack. So they're gluten free or gluten friendly. I don't know. Okay. Look at them. They're like they're like little stars. Oh. These look like a like a kid snack, like a like a toddler snack you can get here in Canada. They're like little stars and they taste like apples or what are some of the other flavors? I don't know, but anyways. Is that spice? You know what kind of reminds me of? Like Captain Crunch, if you've had Captain Crunch, the cereal. It's like the texture of that. But she's a little spicy. Mmm. Okay. Don't choke on it like I almost did. Yeah, they're definitely a little spicy, but they're good. All right. Move on to the chocolate one. I don't know how to say that. But it's from. 1935 like it's been around since 1935 not this particular bar but you catch my draft right Open. Okay. Okay. So i think it's gonna be like a chocolate wafery type thing way for you there's like a light cream on the inside, I think. Mm. 
it's okay. I give it maybe a, a six. I wouldn't go buying this, but if I was at a party in Spain and these were out, I'd probably grab one. Okay. Oh yeah, these. Should we, what should I? Maybe a seven. Cause they're pretty good. And it's a pretty full bag of them. Roller Fizz. Oh yeah. I am excited for this. Ribbon candy. Okay, I don't want to unroll it all because there's, there's sugar going everywhere. Oh. It's going down my shirt. Oh, I'm gonna have... Oh yeah, I have sugar in my boobs. Oh, that's rude. Okay. <laughs> it's really good. It's like a little bit sour. It's sweet, of course. But be careful of that powder. It'd probably be better if I was standing and I could like lean over. Well, then I just need a tiny sip of water. Okay. Last things here. These little wrapped, individually wrapped candies. Picotis. It's a red, a red candy. Oh, you can chew it. Mm. Mm. Most of the time, when you get these like individual candies in your box, they're hard candies. This is not a hard candy. Watch. Okay, I'm busy. Okay. These are 10. I will eat all of these. There's like four left. I don't usually eat all of the individual candies. I usually like eat one for the camera, like to show you. And then I like give them away or whatever. But I'm going to eat all of these. I have to give one of these to Darren to um. see what he thinks. <laughs> So crazy. All right. Yeah. These are 10 out of 10. The, the ribbon candy, 10 out of 10. This was a great box. Thank you, Snack Crate. Thank you, Spain, for creating these snacks. Um, hold on. Just give me a second. Thank you so much for watching. I would not have a channel if it wasn't for you watching me. So please uh, go ahead, click the like button. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click subscribe so you can be a part of my palm squad. And um, I will catch you on the flip side. Bye.